joint. It's a hinge joint that bends and it straightens, it flexes and extends. However, there's more than meets the eye with the knee. Hey there, Eric with you from A to Z PT.com. Thank you for watching today. I have something really interesting, something you probably do not, you're not even aware of with your knee, but not only does our knee bend and extend, but it also rotates and slides. I bet you didn't know that. Pretty interesting, huh? They, they call this movement, this mechanism, the screw home mechanism. And again, with the, the last 30 degrees, as we're trying to straighten our leg, a rotational effect happens, a sliding happens, and that's due to the fact of the anatomy. We, if you can imagine for a minute here that this is your knee, you have a, a femur bone coming down from your pelvis and a tibia bone coming up from your ankle and foot, they meet, they join and make the knee joint. Uh, the surface areas, though, are a little different. They call these uh, the surface area on the femur bone. You have two condyles, the medial and the lateral, or the, the inside is the medial, the lateral is the outside. And similar with the, the tibia has condyles also, and they have to meet, and then they have to lock. But in order for them to lock, because the inside condyle on the femur bone the surface area is much greater than the outside one. So in order for the knee to completely lock, there has to be a little rotation, about 10 to 15 degrees, rotation and sliding of the two bones in order to fully lock the leg out, to fully stabilize the leg. And that's what the screw hole mechanism is. And if this is not occurring, if you're not getting that 10 degrees of rotation and sliding as the leg starts to straighten, you're gonna have a lot of instability in your knee. And that instability over time can lead to a lot of arthritis. We can start to develop a lot of arthritis in the knee. And also there's, there's a lot of ligaments that also help stabilize the knee. But again, if we're not getting that rotation effect, that rotation and sliding, the ligaments are gonna also exceed loads that can be detrimental to them. So it can break down the knee arthritically and ligament also can be stressed to the point of damage. So we really wanna be, be sure, we really wanna make sure that our knee is rotating and sliding to fully extend, to fully lock out. There's a, a simple way of of testing for this and there are many exercises that we can do that help us that helps us keep that knee rotating fluidly like it should so if you're interested in more information about the screw home mechanism uh, I'll put my email down below and shoot me an email I'd be happy to give you more information and also if you're looking for a program to help stabilize your knee if you're having knee pain now or if, if you are in a prevention mode and want to make sure that um, later down the road you're not going to be susceptible to breakdown at the knee joint I can make a program an individualized program for you also tailor-made just for you so I'll put my email down below if you're interested in more information or an individualized program and I would just need uh, some further information of course so I hope that helps and uh, yeah pretty interesting though the screw hole mechanism rotation sliding lock stabilizes the knee thanks for watching I hope that was helpful now make it happen I'll talk to you soon